Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 Yo, luck? Let's let luck decide. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Cassie, we are the ultimate lucky students, which also means we're the ultimate unlucky student. Anytime things go wrong, it's our problem. Nah, but if we flipped that coin and decided on luck, it totally land on Kyoko. It wouldn't. <laughs> We've been fucked oh, constantly boy. by luck. The only time I ever get lucky is when I'm playing the Mon Mon machine and get five of free ones in a row. I mean, everything that people say is unlucky to us has been lucky. Like, if our door didn't jam, we wouldn't have an excuse for why we weren't the killer. That it worked okay, out. Okay, no, us. it was very a lucky. hard cut to us being accepted in this academy. Yeah, that's also very lucky. Really? We could have lived yeah. a normal life. See? A good or idea, right? you know, could have lived this life and met all his friends whom he loved and stuff. No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. You know, if we had literally woken up, said, Hey, I was attacked in my sleep last night. What the hell is happening? Instead of just being an idiot constantly. Like, there are so many times in this game where if we had actually been proactive, a lot of this could have been avoided. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? This doesn't seem lucky. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... We gotta explain about what happened the previous night yet? Couldn't be sure what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Well, thousand percent convinced. Considering everything up until now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that the murder didn't that didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. Make your argument. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Um. lodged in the dead body. Gonna give you a hint and say you do not need to absorb a bullet for this. Yeah, I got that. Um, you got that wrong. This is kind of a stretch. I feel like there's better ways to do this with other truth bullets. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No, don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. This is no way that's possible. You got that wrong. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. Then the knife was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. So many things are just 
over the top in this one. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from That's what crazy, isn't it? Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous combustion. Why do we let him talk? I might be dumb, mm. but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway on this. After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Oh! Then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Uh, baseball bat. It's actually Leon. He survived his execution and uh, is back to get revenge. Mm -hmm. Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. That's my uh, slowdown ability, right? Yes. Monokuma found number five exploded body analysis before the body exploded. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't you because of the knife, right? You don't mean there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file... That's gotta be it! There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue the debate? Okay, what exactly does the body before the explosion say? Gabe, I'm gonna give you a hint. Once you use one truth bullet, you normally don't reuse it. Have we used all three of these already? Okay, I'm just gonna try this, I don't care. You, uh, you hit the white noise. Oh, okay. Really wasn't sure what happened. I went, what? Wait, it, oh, it got rid of my bullet. Yeah, you only have it once. Yeah, I didn't notice it disappeared. There. I, I don't feel like... That's completely wrong because that came up later in the conversation. So we are we already got it. Like I didn't need to chime in. We were already there. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object. 
about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe. How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way. The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. Unless you turn it to the side and smack her upside the head with it. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with a metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. Toko. You, you need to chill out, bro. Like, you're not completely wrong that it is a nasty brain, but like, stop. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Real murder weapon. <laughs> it was my cock. <laughs> my god. Um... I don't know the answer to this, guess. Okay, well, it, one of these are, could be considered a weapon. Bloody duct tape. No. The arrows isn't, like, it is a weapon, but it's not a blunt. Unless they smack him with a bow. Or, unless they... Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do this, but like, was hit in wonder what that uh, duct tape was in there for. And that's what yeah, but I. Okay, and you just bundled all the arrows together. Arrow we found in the that is in the dojo. this entire thing. Like, you didn't need to do this. You could have taken anything. You could literally have taken like anything from the kitchen and smacked her over the head with it. You could have taken the block that holds knives. With the culprit attack Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds kinda weird. Kinda dumb is what you mean. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master? You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for doubting it because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. It's like, the titanium arrow. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the mind, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to Mass, you have no right! The titanium, it was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound confused. Because it said the weapon must have been about as thick as it seems like an arrow would just be too. You got that wrong. They taped arrows together. They're supposed to be light, right? right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Another, another arrow. And another arrow. And another arrow. <laughs> And I fired, and I missed. And I fired again, and I missed again. I missed both times. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows together. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak, but put them together, and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Oh no, you absolutely have. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Don't we, Makoto? Uh, oh, um... Hmm? What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. 
You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all. Remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. I have evidence? Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo locker. And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room? Don't bother trying to play dumb. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. It's not, though. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Hold on a second. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, Makoto's a simp, it's not that I and that's to good. Her. It's just... There's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... protecting you. What? She was protecting me? Wow, that's weird. It's almost like there was a killer in my room or something. Ah. She knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when... Which would mean that Kyoko, she killed someone for me? That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. What? The Afghan should know more than anyone? What does that mean? I mean, he should. I mean, he had the key. Exactly. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. Yeah, he would. Proof that you aren't the culprit. Just for the sake of keeping it. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct, but. Could I really have done that? Okay, so the I have to use the Kyoko's one on Biakon's. Got it. You should understand. <laughs> then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. <laughs> There's proof that you aren't the culprit. No. Yeah, I mean it's not wrong. It's just you know, here's the evidence. If I'm right. Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into a She would have, we know that. Huh? Why not? We do. Because they don't. She had given a room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. No, that's not actually true. It was a clear contradiction of what Kyoko just told us, an obvious lie. But this... This just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. Does she really feel that threatened? Or is it something that's else? What? If you feel from like here, the mystery yeah. school will stay hidden forever. Yeah. The mastermind's trap. The mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko, but what if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? All right, Gabriel. Mastermind's the moment trap. that I've been waiting for. 
The victim was Mikuru and Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? And what am I supposed to do? Kyoko is lied, and the only one who knows it's a lie, and I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The Mastermind's trap. We only know one trap in this game. So the Mastermind was actually uh, Chihiro. Easy. Chihiro. There is fan art of that. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. What do I do? I have to decide right now. All right, now. Gabe. So, I need you to pursue that lie. Why? Because. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's gonna get you an uh, achievement, I think. Do it. There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. A lie? Isn't that right, Kyoko? Yes. You yes. said it. The burden of proof is on you. So let's hear it. Where's this lie, then? <sighs> Did you just fuck me on this just to get me an achievement? Yes. But it's it's worth room. it. It's worth it. Because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. Then, when we search Kyo, how else could the key have gotten there? Someone other than me must have put it there. That's the only explanation. I didn't have because I'd given it. There's no doubt about it. You are correct. So you I also may want to learn the button for white noise, because this shit's going to be hard if you keep trying to avoid it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. No. Kyoko could have gotten into a room. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? Monokuma's secret tools? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school, which means she could have used it to get into her own room. Then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing- No, I'm simply recognizing that I lost. What are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap, and I wasn't able to escape it, so I lost. That's all this means. Huh? Then, are you saying you really didn't- Kyoko? You really aren't the killer? Okay! Time's up! Huh? I'm sorry to say, but your time is up! All done! All finished! The class trial is all over! But, but that's ridiculous! Since when is there any... It's because you were late! So the trial started late and time ran out! So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you! But I guess we already know who the Blackened is, don't we? Good job, you got it right. <laughs> really right. We got it right? Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But something strange is going on here. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Is everyone ready? Okay then. Game over. Kyoko has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. Just so you know, Gabe, this is the bad end. Yes, I... I got that. Yeah, I know. I'm just, you know... How am yeah. Death by school? 
Also, it's funny, but apparently what Monokuma is teaching on the board is um, conception of a child. Oh. So, her ultimate punishment is having to go to school. After school lessons. Yeah, I see that now that you've said it. Is she embarrassed? Or is she dread? Now she's dread. And that's how the class trial of Mikuri Kasaba came to an end. I still have to wonder about Kyoko was actually innocent, or regardless, the truth was lost forever, even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mikuri's class trial, and in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. We had obtained peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Hmm. <laughs> Peace, but only inside the school. I so she fucks Biaki at first, and then Makoto, and then Hagakure. What happened to Toko? <laughs> Peace, but only for I us. Mean, that was the only hope we had. Probably when Naoi revealed... No one really knows, obviously, but people like to joke that when Naoi revealed she was pregnant with Biaki's kid, she killed herself. Hope. Hope. Hope? This is hope? No! This isn't right! And we're back! All right, you're gonna huh? let the lie go this Koto, time. Why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko's claim? Her claim? Oh, that's right. I have to. Do I expose li Kyoko's lie or not? I literally just went back in time. I have yeah. that power. The power of hope just lets me time travel. <laughs> I don't think I got an achievement for that. Oh well, it's a trophy note. Yeah, no, I didn't get an achievement for that. Trophy? Maybe that's only on the PS4 then. I figured they would have done achievements if they had trophies for that stuff. Whoop. So do I run away or let it go? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I made my decision. What happens if I run away? Uh, nothing. I think you can't. And it just makes you choose one of the other two. So stupid. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko no. mentioned. Does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It, it had to be Makoto, right? I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be okay. Time's up. Huh? So this is Time's the actual up. like class trials all how to progress the game. Ending of this trial. What? Time's up? What do you mean time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. 
So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time? Now, Ooh. chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Our classmates are idiots. We all agree on that, right? No. To be fair, there is proof that you are no. the only one that could have done no. it. No. There's obviously something wrong here, and every one of them just goes, yeah, it must be Makoto. Yeah, but they have to do this, otherwise they will all die. You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Sorry. I mean, she already said sorry, but yeah. Basically, they all had to do it. They didn't want to, but... It's all your fault! Everyone, you're wrong. You got all wrong, I didn't do it! Yes, Good job, everyone! Good job? Yeah, they got it right! No, I know that isn't true. None of this makes sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense! Shoot. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials, and I'm gonna end it the same way. It's time for your heart pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Wait, why do I, Kyoko? I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Game over. Makoto has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. You know, we're in the same punishment? Not very unique, dude. Yeah, so that's- that- well, that's the joke. In both of our last moments, Monokuma teaches us about conception. I mean, I hear they're good games. So, I guess we just time travel again, we go like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> we're not tied up or anything. No, we're just chilling. Why? Because we're... we can't really get away. I mean, we absolutely can just fuck with him. The idea that... I don't know. I feel like these got a lot dumber as time went on. Surprise, motherfucker. Baby! She's the baby! He's baby, I guess. He's baby! Hell yeah. I find it hilarious that Alter Ego will save you. But he won't yeah. save Kyoko. I'm just sitting here and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, Kyoko absolutely talked to Alter Ego more than anyone besides me. I mean, well, I think it's because when you put him in the network room, you tell him that you're a friend and, like, he's a friend and you're all gonna get out mm -hmm. together. Huh? So he's got, like, slightly more emotional connection with huh? him. What's this? What's going on? Um. Uh, what was that? Uh, um... Yeah, it had to be. Alter Ego. Alter Ego? Is this some kind of stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted when he evaded my network. Damn it all to hell, I don't believe this. It would seem... It seems you finally made a miscalculation. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the... What was that? In other words... What I'm saying is you shouldn't have underestimated us. 
<laughs> what are you talking about? Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch and itch. Stupid virus is gone now. Got it, and so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't even get to smash him flappy. Never gonna see him again. Can waste away in a garbage strewn pit in a way that's even better special punishment. <laughs> but still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. And bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> Is he gone? Hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. In other words... Now it's the mastermind that's ensnared. Win! Not in here with them, he's in here with us! What are you talking about? So... You'll understand soon enough. Very soon, indeed. Massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. What? Hope's Peak Academy. Brings the top students from every field imaginable, a government funded school privilege. They said if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life with hundreds of years of tradition since the cream of the crop in the work for every, in workforce every year. The bill to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes it Hope Speaks a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. Once, one, you have to be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could be enrolled here. The only way in is if you're scouted to the school itself. <sighs> this better not be a situation where this has happened multiple times and Kyoko was the previous person who got out, quote-unquote, and ended up back in the game. Just like we're, maybe. Like, if that's the situation here and we're just literally halfway in the game, because we're trying to stop murders from happening that we know are going to happen. This is some bullshit. And standing here at the cave, the ultimate student of the ultimate students was me. Also, the school of the ultimate students. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I? Woke up with my head resting on a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk out in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what is it doing sleeping here just now? Wasn't any classroom I'd been in before. What the heck is going on? Huh? <sighs> finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the scent invading my nostrils is too powerful for a dream. An awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. The trash was piled high across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in, but this is just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in here until I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after my good friend went through what my good friend went through to save me? I remembered all too well what had happened. After Alter Ego saved me, even though I had my eyes closed, so I couldn't have seen that. And he used up the last bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now, for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. My first... First up was to start looking for a way out of here. Guys, next time on Let's Play Danganronpa. This is the pits. The pits. Thanks for repeating my joke. Yeah. You're Timmy and I'm Tommy. That's disgusting to say. I don't want to be Tommy. I want to be Timmy. Um, also, this was from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Surprised you remember that and not some other shit, but whatever. Uh, listen, I try, I try my best. I try real hard, but you don't succeed.